Hello everyone, Xpen here, and this is a survival-friendly iron farm. This iron farm is designed for single-player worlds. Although there is a way to stack them up for higher outputs, I suggest using a different design for that goal. Here are some quick notes before you waste your time on a tutorial you don't need. This iron farm was designed in Java Edition 1.15.2, works in 1.14, and can easily be tweaked for 1.16 when villagers no longer need to work to spawn iron golems. This design is not for bedrock edition. It utilizes 6 villagers and a zombie. Transport of villagers and a zombie is not covered in this tutorial. This design uses a hopper clock for efficiency. Here's the short list of the materials needed in approximate quantity. We'll be building this farm from the ground up. Collection system first. I'll give you the liberty of deciding how many chests you want for your storage area. The kill chamber is a 3 by 3 area. We will place a temporary emergency exit on one corner. Should you fall down this kill chamber while building the list. You can use fence gates or signs to contain your lava here. Make sure the fence gates are in open position. Place a single water source on the opposite corner so that the iron ingots flow towards your hopper. The lava will be contained in the center, enough to kill golems but also saves you from fire damage if you accidentally fall into this tube. Build 14 blocks up. This distance is needed so that the villager AI quickly lose his sight of the golems they spawn and start counting down again for the next golem. If you don't quickly remove the golems from the villager detection range, which is around 16 blocks, the farm output rate decreases. You may use solid blocks for this tube. Close off this drop area for your safety. Let's build a 9x9 spawning area. Use solid blocks for this platform. Surround this platform with a 2 block high glass wall. Alternatively, you can use a single layer of vents for this. Place 3 temporary blocks, a sticky piston facing up, then another 2 temporary blocks. Add 5 temporary blocks on opposite sides. The 3 solid blocks with the redstone dust on top is where the villagers will stand. You'll use glass or half slabs for the rest of the villager holding cells to avoid iron golems spawning here. Isolate each villager cell with two blocks tall glass walls and cover the top with slabs. Do the same for the other side. You can use any workstation. Some of you might be wondering why not place the villagers more tightly together in one cell? Well, I'm not good with villager transport and I'd rather deal with them one on one. I'm placing down the beds now but you may opt to do this later depending on how you will transport your villagers. Go get your villagers and close the back of their cells. 
I like to place light sources on these spots. Note the double glass walls behind the beds to prevent glitching out when the villagers slide down their beds as they sleep. When your villagers are safe, remove these temporary blocks. Let's build the redstone circuitry. Place a 2x6 platform made of upper half slabs. Skip one corner as shown. This repeater is on 4 ticks delay. 6 comparators in this configuration to prolong the signal. Another repeater in 4 ticks delay. These two hoppers must point to each other. Sticky pistons face toward hoppers. Let's leave the hopper clock for now and prepare the zombie holding cell. Remove the temporary blocks. Put down 8 fence gates in open position. There is no fence gate in the center. Remove temporary blocks. Torches are meant to prevent water from freezing in cold biomes or at certain heights. Place water on 4 corners. Time to get your zombie. Make sure you have your name tag in hand. Set up the clock by placing 94 items inside one hopper. That's it. The farm is now operational. You'll have to let the villagers sleep and work at least one cycle before they start iron golem spawning. So don't fret if you don't see iron golems immediately. You may now replace the emergency exit with blocks. There will be times that the villager pods will be out of sync with only one golem spawning per cycle. This is usually caused by an iron golem trying to fight the water currents and staying too long on the platforms. Don't worry, it will just correct itself over time. There are some important notes about this farm in the video description below. For 1.16, the workstations may not be necessary so that you can just remove them later. If you're watching this in the future, please note, nothing is set on stone yet for the nether update, and things I've said may be outdated once 1.16 rolls out. I hope you can use the concepts of this build to repair your old farms, or in building your first survival-friendly iron farm. This has been XPen, till next time! How did I get my villagers to their holding cells? I transported them by rails, waited till dark, broke some blocks to allow the villagers to pathfind to the beds. And locked them in as they sleep.